Deuteronomy chapter 11. Therefore you shall love Yahweh your God, and keep His instructions, His statutes, His ordinances, and His commandments, always. Know this day, for I don't speak with your children who have not known, and who have not seen the chastisement of Yahweh your God, His greatness, His mighty hand, His outstretched arm, His signs, and His works, which He did in the middle of Egypt to Pharaoh the king of Egypt, and to all his land, and what He did to the army of Egypt, to their horses, and to their chariots, how He made the water of the Red Sea to overflow them as they pursued you, and how Yahweh has destroyed them to this day, and what He did to you in the wilderness until you came to this place, and what He did to Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, the son of Reuben, how the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up, with their households, their tents, and every living thing that followed them, in the middle of all Israel, but your eyes have seen all of Yahweh's great work which He did. Therefore you shall keep the entire commandment which I command you today, that you may be strong, and go in and possess the land that you go over to possess, and that you may prolong your days in the land which Yahweh swore to your fathers to give to them and to their offspring, a land flowing with milk and honey. For the land, where you go in to possess isn't like the land of Egypt that you came out of, where you sowed your seed and watered it with your foot, as a garden of herbs, but the land that you go over to possess is a land of hills and valleys which drinks water from the rain of the sky, a land which Yahweh your God cares for. Yahweh your God's eyes are always on it, from the beginning of the year even to the end of the year. It shall happen, if you shall listen diligently to my commandments which I command you today, to love Yahweh your God, and to serve Him with all your heart and with all your soul, that I will give the rain for your land in its season, the early rain and the latter rain, that you may gather in your grain, your new wine, and your oil. I will give grass in your fields for your livestock, and you shall eat and be full. Be careful, lest your heart be deceived, and you turn away to serve other gods and worship them, and Yahweh's anger be kindled against you, and He shut up the sky so that there is no rain, and the land doesn't yield its fruit, and you perish quickly from off the good land which Yahweh gives you. Therefore you shall lay up these words of mine in your heart and in your soul. You shall bind them for a sign on your hand, and they shall be for frontlets between your eyes. You shall teach them to your children, talking of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates, that your days and your children's days may be multiplied in the land which Yahweh swore to your fathers to give them, as the days of the heavens above the earth. For if you shall diligently keep all these commandments which I command you, to do them, to love Yahweh your God, to walk in all His ways, and to cling to Him, then Yahweh will drive out all these nations from before you, and you shall dispossess nations greater and mightier than yourselves. Every place on which the sole of your foot treads shall be yours, from the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even to the western sea shall be your border. No man will be able to stand before you. Yahweh your God will lay the fear of you and the dread of you on all the land that you tread on, as He has spoken to you. Behold, I set before you today a blessing and a curse, the blessing, if you listen to the commandments of Yahweh your God, which I command you today, and the curse, if you do not listen to the commandments of Yahweh your God, but turn away out of the way which I command you today, to go after other gods which you have not known. It shall happen, when Yahweh your God brings you into the land that you go to possess, that you shall set the blessing on Mount Gerizim, and the curse on Mount Ebal. Aren't they beyond the Jordan, behind the way of the going down of the sun, in the land of the Canaanites who dwell in the Arabah near Gilgal, beside the oaks of Moreh? For you are to pass over the Jordan to go in to possess the land which Yahweh your God gives you, and you shall possess it and dwell in it. You shall observe to do all the statutes and the ordinances which I set before you today. Deuteronomy chapter 12 These are the statutes and the ordinances which you shall observe to do in the land which Yahweh, the God of your fathers, has given you to possess all the days that you live on the earth. You shall surely destroy all the places in which the nations that you shall dispossess serve their gods, on the high mountains, and on the hills, and under every green tree. You shall break down their altars, dash their pillars in pieces, and burn their Asherah poles with fire. You shall cut down the engraved images of their gods. You shall destroy their name out of that place. You shall not do so to Yahweh your God but to the place which Yahweh your God shall choose out of all your tribes, to put His name there, you shall seek His habitation, and you shall come there. 
you shall bring your burnt offerings, your sacrifices, your tithes, the wave offering of your hand, your vows, your free will offerings, and the firstborn of your herd and of your flock there. There you shall eat before Yahweh your God, and you shall rejoice in all that you put your hand to, you and your households, in which Yahweh your God has blessed you. You shall not do all the things that we do here today, every man whatever is right in his own eyes, for you haven't yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which Yahweh your God gives you. But when you go over the Jordan and dwell in the land which Yahweh your God causes you to inherit, and He gives you rest from all your enemies around you, so that you dwell in safety, then it shall happen that to the place which Yahweh your God shall choose, to cause His name to dwell there, there you shall bring all that I command you, your burnt offerings, your sacrifices, your tithes, the wave offering of your hand, and all your choice vows which you vow to Yahweh. You shall rejoice before Yahweh your God, you, and your sons, your daughters, your male servants, your female servants, and the Levite who is within your gates, because he has no portion nor inheritance with you. Be careful that you don't offer your burnt offerings in every place that you see, but in the place which Yahweh chooses in one of your tribes, there you shall offer your burnt offerings, and there you shall do all that I command you. Yet you may kill and eat meat within all your gates, after all the desire of your soul, according to Yahweh your God's blessing which He has given you. The unclean and the clean may eat of it, as of the gazelle and the deer. Only you shall not eat the blood. You shall pour it out on the earth like water. You may not eat within your gates the tithe of your grain, or of your new wine, or of your oil, or the firstborn of your herd or of your flock, nor any of your vows which you vow, nor your free will offerings, nor the wave offering of your hand, but you shall eat them before Yahweh your God in the place which Yahweh your God shall choose, you, your son, your daughter, your male servant, your female servant, and the Levite who is within your gates. You shall rejoice before Yahweh your God in all that you put your hand to. Be careful that you don't forsake the Levite as long as you live in your land. When Yahweh your God enlarges your border, as He has promised you, and you say, I want to eat meat, because your soul desires to eat meat, you may eat meat, after all the desire of your soul. If the place which Yahweh your God shall choose to put His name is too far from you, then you shall kill of your herd and of your flock, which Yahweh has given you, as I have commanded you, and you may eat within your gates, after all the desire of your soul. Even as the gazelle and as the deer is eaten, so you shall eat of it. The unclean and the clean may eat of it alike. Only be sure that you don't eat the blood, for the blood is the life. You shall not eat the life with the meat. You shall not eat it. You shall pour it out on the earth like water. You shall not eat it, that it may go well with you and with your children after you, when you do that which is right in Yahweh's eyes. Only your holy things which you have, and your vows, you shall take and go to the place which Yahweh shall choose. You shall offer your burnt offerings, the meat and the blood, on Yahweh your God's altar. The blood of your sacrifices shall be poured out on Yahweh your God's altar, and you shall eat the meat. Observe and hear all these words which I command you, that it may go well with you and with your children after you forever, when you do that which is good and right in Yahweh your God's eyes. When Yahweh your God cuts off the nations from before you where you go in to dispossess them, and you dispossess them and dwell in their land, be careful that you are not ensnared to follow them after they are destroyed from before you, and that you not inquire after their gods, saying, How do these nations serve their gods? I will do likewise. You shall not do so to Yahweh your God, for every abomination to Yahweh, which he hates, they have done to their gods, for they even burn their sons and their daughters in the fire to their gods. Whatever thing I command you, that you shall observe to do. You shall not add to it, nor take away from it. Deuteronomy chapter 13 If a prophet or a dreamer of dreams arises among you, and he gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder comes to pass, of which he spoke to you, saying, Let's go after other gods, which you have not known, and let's serve them, you shall not listen to the words of that prophet, or to that dreamer of dreams, for Yahweh your God is testing you, to know whether you love Yahweh your God with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall walk after Yahweh your God, fear Him, keep His commandments, and obey His voice. You shall serve Him, and cling to Him. That prophet, or that dreamer of dreams, shall be put to death, because he has spoken rebellion against Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage, 
to draw you aside out of the way which Yahweh your God commanded you to walk in. So you shall remove the evil from among you. If your brother, the son of your mother, or your son, or your daughter, or the wife of your bosom, or your friend who is as your own soul, entices you secretly, saying, Let's go and serve other gods which you have not known, you, nor your fathers, of the gods of the peoples who are around you, near to you, or far off from you, from the one end of the earth even to the other end of the earth, you shall not consent to him nor listen to him, neither shall your eye pity him, neither shall you spare, neither shall you conceal him, but you shall surely kill him. Your hand shall be first on him to put him to death, and afterwards the hands of all the people. You shall stone him to death with stones, because he has sought to draw you away from Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. All Israel shall hear, and fear, and shall not do any more wickedness like this among you. If you hear about one of your cities, which Yahweh your God gives you to dwell there, that certain wicked fellows have gone out from among you and have drawn away the inhabitants of their city, saying, Let's go and serve other gods, which you have not known, then you shall inquire, investigate, and ask diligently. Behold, if it is true, and the thing certain, that such abomination was done among you, you shall surely strike the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword, destroying it utterly, with all that is therein and its livestock, with the edge of the sword. You shall gather all its plunder into the middle of its street, and shall burn with fire the city, with all of its plunder, to Yahweh your God. It shall be a heap forever. It shall not be built again. Nothing of the devoted thing shall cling to your hand, that Yahweh may turn from the fierceness of his anger and show you mercy, and have compassion on you and multiply you, as he has sworn to your fathers, when you listen to Yahweh your God's voice, to keep all his commandments which I command you today, to do that which is right in Yahweh your God's eyes.